burbler. He's in his element. <laughs> it's just like nature. It's what we're all about. Wagons ho! <laughs> Have a look at that! Oh. Just when they think it's safe to come out. Not an animal! Bang! <laughs> I guess in the end that's probably why we all go fishing. Get back, have a shower, have a sandwich, get changed, mate. I'll tell you what, take it easy. This is the land of relaxation. Not when we're fishing, mate. We're keen, we're out there. Gary Crombie's our man from Oblivion Charters, folks. And quite seriously, the folks are keen, the crew's keen, I'm keen. What do you got in store for our half a day trip today? Mate, we're going to run out to the drop-off, the deep drop-off. Fishing in about 100 metres of water. All sorts of species out there. Can do a little bit of trolling, some deep work. We're just going to go out there and try our luck, mate. Right? See what happens, folks. Time to fish with two dogs. It's great to be back. Come on, son. see me but there's a long long way to go baby we are three nautical miles west of Lord Howe Island in around about 160 meters of water now that is a long long way folks it's almost the size of a football ground in Australia and with a couple of pieces of striped tuna 4-0 very short shank suicide hooks and about 40 to 50 grams of lead we have let our trap down the bottom and something has latched onto it and two dogs crombie has joined me and two dogs are you prepared at this stage about a third of the way up from the bottom to say what it possibly could be what possibly could it be? Rex, I think the money might be on a Galapagos whale or shark, mate, the way it's fighting. <laughs> Do you? Yep. <clears throat> Do you really? Not much of a tail beat there in your rod tip. No, there's not. Could be something else. You never tell from this depth. It's pretty hard. Well, it's like a lucky dip. You ever lucky dip as a kid? It's a wonderful way to fish in that sense, mate. You just never know what's going to come up in the end. There's probably 40 or 50 species hanging around down there that we could get today if we're lucky. Yeah. Oh, there's something substantial out there. That's what's on the end of your line, Rex. That's that shark. A shark, is it? Yeah, mate. My goodness me. Galapagos whaler. Is it really? Yep. And does he, he spend most of his time down the bottom because he's come up from 160 metres. Look at that. You can see them in 160 metres. You can see them in three metres inside there. They're all over the can place, you really? these guys. They're our most common shark. Would that be the shark we saw down at Ned's Beach with the fish feeding? That's him, just a smaller version. Yeah, well, he's gone. And he's released himself, which he is kind of good. And he way. bit the hook through. Yeah. Almost any bait will do in these situations because you've just got to understand it. You've got bottom feeders and they'll feed on what's on the bottom. Coral, bits of weed, the wrasse family, all that sort of stuff. Other species will go for the crustacea that is down there. Little crabs, tiny little ghost prawns, that sort of thing. But the old striped tuna, commonly called a stripey, officially called a skipjack tuna, he's oily, he is one of the best baits around. It's soft. It's very, very nice to taste. And the skin, 
Well, it is just enough adhesive to put the hook through, and that's the bait, and hopefully, oh, something will grab it. It smells okay. Now you were telling me over a quiet uh, raspberry cordial last night at Pine Trees that you've actually got fish here that the fishery say, well done boys, these fish haven't been discovered yet. That is quite amazing. Prior to a couple of years ago, there only have been one specimen of these fish taken. I can't tell you a common name for them because they don't have a common name. Yeah. And they've got a scientific name that would take a, uh, a very special kind of person to pronounce. I can't say it. Is that a fact? But interesting fish. Since then, we've caught about a dozen of them. They're and only found in this area. One of them did, anyhow. I've still got another one, but I reckon I had two fish on. And this is a more lightweight type of fish, but the big fish I had on has actually, it just, well, I don't know, it bit me off or... Sometimes once you get to a certain depth, they start to float a little bit and they'll actually float off the hook, I've got a bit of colour here, and this is only a tiny fish, but I can tell you now, the fish that I had on with it was substantial and I've been bitten off again. Bitten off. Darn. So that probably was a shark as well, was it? Might have come in and taken your fish, Rex. They'll oh, often I do see. It. They'll often do it. Oh, I see, so sharks are predating on what you're bringing up. Yep. They're picking it off halfway up, unfortunately. He might have mate. had a bit of a fry too. Look at the scales on the Looks side. Looks like of him. someone's tried to eat him, doesn't it? It does. He's had a really nasty shock, that guy. Pretty fish, aren't they? What is it? They're a type of pigfish. Rass species, actually, but they're a type of pigfish, mate. There's, we get a male and a female, very different in colour, but yeah. two different ones the male and the female. This is the female, I think. Serious set of choppers, a bit like mm. Dick Emery when he had his show. Schooling fish, too. They swim around in quite large schools down there. Yeah. Lots of them, lovely to eat, these little fish. Like a lot of these bottom species, they've got really superior flesh to them. And uh, obviously a shark thought that too, because he's eaten one off for you. Yeah. Or you may have had another species on the other hook. It's hard to pick at this stage. Well, but he's had are. a nasty scare, that guy, yeah, hasn't he? Yeah, too right, I tell you what, mate. A pigfish. I've never caught a pigfish before. Sorry about the water on the lens there, Brendan, and folks at home. But it's like a lucky dip. You never know what's coming up next. But the law of the land is the same as the law of the sea. Eat or be eaten.